Hey guys, it's Susan and Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review, and guess what time it is? It is time for... Camper's Cafe. Camper's Cafe. Woohoo! Now for this episode here, we have a Bannock meal. Now, we are not strangers to Bannock by any means. Nope, we're not. Now... Let's see, one of our very first episodes of the Camper's Cafe, we did a Bannock review of some some sort of chicken and rice dish, right. and it wasn't really a winner for us. No, I think it was beans and... Uh, beans, rice, beans, and something, rice, maybe. Beans, rice, chicken, yeah. Yeah. Wasn't a winner, uh, so we thought we would try out a breakfast, but I have to tell you, I was a little worried when Luke pulled this out, because mm -hmm. at the top, it says breakfast slash dessert. Yeah, it's advertised as breakfast and dessert, and that worries me because... I'm afraid that it's going to be too sweet. Yeah, I mean, you don't eat dessert for breakfast. And if you truly want a dessert, then you probably want something sweet. You wouldn't eat a breakfast item for dessert. Mm -hmm. Maybe you would. I don't know. So I'm curious to try it. Yeah, same here. Now, what this looks to be is like an oatmeal dish. Multigrain berries and cream. Looks like it has strawberries and blueberries in it. 270 calories for this package, two and a half servings, 14 grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and 11 grams of protein. Sodium, 170 milligrams per serving. Okay. So that's not super high, not really. When not you compare really. this to like a can of soup or other you know, freeze-dried meals. So preparing this is super easy. You take two cups of water, you boil that, then you add it to the pouch, you give it a good stir, seal it up, it's gonna sit 10 to 12 minutes. I think we will do 12 minutes. And periodically you can knead the package and kind of mix it up. So while we wait, let's just go over some information real quick about Bannock, where this came from, price, and so on. From preparewise.com, you have to purchase in bulk, namely six at a time. The cost is $46. Now you can purchase these individually from Amazon for around nine bucks. Yeah. So you save a little bit of money if you buy in bulk, relatively all the same. On the PrepareWise website, you could do six of these flavors or you can mix and match. It's up to you. So let's go back to our last Camper's Cafe video. It was very interesting. It was... Fishcock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ew. Uh, and it was awesome. I loved it. He said it was awesome. It was really good. So we always like to follow up with you guys and, and let you know if like we had any you know, stomach pain mm -hmm. or like how these meals made us feel afterwards because we eat these right on camera, right. you know, so you don't know what happens later. And I can't comment on fish cock because I would not eat it. <laughs> the, the only issue that I had was that I wanted more. Oh. Yeah, like <laughs> seriously, that is something that I would throw in my pack and just head off and, you know, do my, do my adventure. I mean, I thought it was great. And apparently they have ham cock. <laughs> Which I'm, I really want okay, to try. Okay, well, I will. If, if you get that, I'll try that. Yeah. How about that? Okay. okay. All right, so we've got our portions out. Um, pretty good sized portions. Definitely. And they're, they're still like a little bit in the bag. It was kind of hard for me to get everything out. Right away, Luke and I noticed that what's on our plate does not look like what's on this package. Right. And it's, it's a huge, almost like a, it's a pet peeve at this point. The only thing that's similar is that you can see all the blueberries. This picture is actually <laughs> like fresh blueberries and fresh strawberries. Look at the size of these blueberries on here. And then yeah. look at these tiny little pea-sized. <laughs> yeah, and it's, I mean, it's because they've been like dried. But you know, there are cereals that have freeze-dried oh, yeah. chunks and slices of strawberries. Right. And we're really having a hard time finding any strawberries. You know, so right off the bat, I, I'm, I'm frustrated, I'm irritated with this. You know, like it's deceptive marketing. Do not put a picture of your food on a product if it looks nothing like it. That's right. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and taste it and see what it's like. Okay, now, you know, as far as like an oatmeal goes, I am an oatmeal connoisseur. I eat oatmeal every single day, followed by 100 push-ups. That's how I start my mornings off. And of course, a couple cups of coffee. But, um, you know, so I like oatmeal a lot. This doesn't look bad. It smells good. The smells little bite good. that I had was actually pretty good. All right. Yep, so. Let's try it. Bon appetit. This is very good breakfast porridge. Oatmeal. It's oatmeal, guys. It's oatmeal. Mm-hmm. You know, it stated on the package that this was breakfast and dessert. This is not dessert by any means, in my opinion. Nope. It, it, it's, it's not sweet. I was concerned that it would be, and it's not. I am not tasting any strawberry, though. I'm only getting blueberry flavor. Mm-hmm. Um, 
it is not sweet like you said. I do like the consistency of it. It's not too runny, mm -hmm. but it's not too thick. Yeah. To me, it's a good consistency. Mm -hmm. I like it. I do too. I like it. Yeah. You know, see, like, this poses an interesting situation because it's like you're frustrated, you're irritated by the marketing nonsense, but yet you actually like the food, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, there's a part of me that just says, hey, you know what? I don't want to support this company because they're full of crap. I know. You know what I mean? I can't help but feel like you're getting screwed over. Yeah. Oh, I think I found a strawberry chunk. <laughs> <laughs> Teeny tiny. She's Dora the Explorer. I'm a gold miner. I'm a miner. I'm a strawberry miner. <laughs> what do I do with all these tailings, guys? So here with Camper's Cafe, we have a spoon rating system. Ten spoons is the best. One spoon is the worst. What do we give this here? Now, as far as... Let's just talk about flavor, because I don't want to talk about the marketing thing right now. We'll yeah, come back to that. Let's just focus on the meal. 100% yeah. the meal. Right. What do you give it? Um, I'm going to give this eight spoons. I agree. I like oh. it. I do too. Yeah, I like it. I think it. it's very good. If you like oatmeal, I would recommend this as a backpacking, camping meal mm -hmm. for breakfast. I really do think it is a good option and I would recommend it. I like this meal a lot, but I'm, I'm very frustrated to see big pieces of strawberry on this and you're not tasting no strawberry. There's no strawberry in this. Mm -mm. These little chunks do not equate to being able to state on this bag that there's strawberries in it. Companies are shooting themselves in the foot because mm -hmm. of their marketing practices and it's turning away potential customers. Right. So hopefully the criticisms they can take and make changes. Right. Because like this is a good product. The meal in itself, I would recommend right. the meal in itself. I'm not recommending the company, but the meal in itself mm -hmm. I would recommend. Yeah, as a breakfast. I, it breakfast. doesn't really make any sense yeah. as a dessert. We feel like that was added there just to try to increase their sales, you know? Yeah. Let's talk about another issue that we've come across here. On the website for oh. Bannock, they state that the shelf life is five years. On the package, guess how many years it states that it's good for? Three. Yes, we did notice a discrepancy. The package mm -hmm. says when it was manufactured. It was manufactured in February of 2016. Mm -hmm. It has a best buy date of February 2019. If you do the math, that's not five years. Right. So again, it just goes back to, I'm not sure what's going on with this company and their marketing techniques. It seems very deceptive. Yeah. I'm going to trust what's on this bag and not what's on their website. Right. And when you see a date like that, if you pick this up and it was already past the best buy date, you're not likely going to eat it unless you're in a starving survival situation. Right. I'm not saying it wouldn't be edible. It probably starts losing its flavor It and loses so on. flavor. I'm sure it loses nutrient value. Right. And if you're starving and that was the only thing, yeah, you could eat it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this would help you guys. If you do like oatmeal, you know, okay, this is a good contender. Right. And that, it is a good contender. Yeah, and that's the thing about this Camper's Cafe. It's here to help you guys so you don't have to go spend the nine to ten dollars right. to buy one of these to try it and find out you hate it right so sorry if i was too frustrated but like it's getting to me because oh, like you guys can't imagine how I often i have to deal with this yeah by working with all these companies but like the thing is like i'm going to be honest for you and i'm going to be a straight shooter with them yeah i'm yeah. not going to do it any other way now folks before we end this episode here we want to let you know that we have a patreon account set up so you guys can support the channel you guys ask about this all the time and already there's like 60 something people who, who are supporting the channel, helping us go in new directions, more gear, more adventures, and so on. It's always appreciated. Thank you guys so much. We really do appreciate it. It's awesome. You guys are awesome. Yep, yep. And the same goes for every viewer. Thank you guys for your support. I think his <laughs> blood pressure is rising. So let's finish our oatmeal. Time to turn into the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> let's finish our oatmeal. And we'll see you guys next time at Camper's Cafe. All right. Guys, strength and honor. See you all.